What's up you guys? Hope you guys are doing well. So let's get into this week's updates and there has been a lot of random stuff happening in the market lately so I'm very um, excited to get into the updates today. So in regards to market conditions, Bitcoin is like still consolidating around that 31, 30k region so I'm personally playing it a lot more safe. I'm not rushing into anything. If it dips lower to like 24k, maybe 20k or something, then I'll be prepared to get into some opportunities. If it just rips up, then it'll probably consolidate down eventually to like 30k or maybe 24, 25k again. So yeah, we'll we'll just see. Or maybe it just rips up to the moon. Then it is what it is. So I don't want to risk it, but. Yeah, up to you guys. ETH is also following it. And for NFT games, it's a mix. Some are going up 10%, some are going down 10%. Same for NFTs with a wider range, around 15%. So yeah, I'm not really forcing any moves. And for stocks, it still has been on an uptrend for nine and a half months. It went slightly above the 453 resistance, which I was very surprised at. But um, yeah, we'll see if it has enough firepower to go through it cleanly and our size currently at 79 which is very overvalued but uh we'll see if it continues ripping then it goes past all-time highs then the momentum may just continue it then hopefully if it does happen maybe it will continue on over to the crypto markets for people getting FOMO and stuff but we'll see lots of waiting this past two weeks and probably the next few weeks for fear green indicator, it is uh, 54, surround neutral. It is loud as shit with the mini, but uh, <laughs> classic accept things. But uh, yeah, I think there's a lot of interesting news popping up, which people get excited for. However, a lot of people are getting scammed. So really, really uh, focus on your security, guys. Don't click on any fishy links. Don't uh, try to make something random, you know. And I think this will be especially important because you need to build the habits right now during the bull market you'll be even more tempted there will be people coming in that are maybe more reputable but then they might do some rug pulls or maybe they get hacked or maybe someone might become a scammer or something so you know what money does to people you know so it is what it is some people but um yeah so really zone in on your security protocols and safety protocols right now so that you'll be ready for the future too then um Sentiment has been slightly more positive than usual in Discord and Twitter sentiments. And resource allocation, increasing cash a bit just in case something happens. And uh, stocks decreasing it slightly a little bit more also. Then everything else is pretty much the same. For trends, uh, there has been a lot of surprise announcements like collaborations between people like Cool Cats and MapleStory. That was unexpected. Uh, Startless was part of this major brand and mainnet launches like the mantle network i think believe there's also game swift and uh creator program or creator yeah pre creator programs for different games play tests coming up so i think this will be very interesting it'll keep people engaged now but since there are mostly dgens in this market i think these news will be more impactful during the bull market when retail sees it for the first time Second trend is uh, lots of future onboarding mechanisms, like there's the Reddit community points where maybe that'll translate over to other social media platforms like, I don't know, Twitch, Threads, Kick, Snapchat, uh, maybe Facebook or some other derivatives of these social media, probably using some kind of method that's similar, maybe even Discord bots, WeChat or something. So. The lens protocol with those other decentralized social media so very curious to see how this pops up and develops so i think a very important takeaway of this is to be open to these changes you know like uh i think there's a tendency for people to uh marry their bags and to marry their old ways where like oh maybe this worked in 2020 maybe worked in 2018 maybe worked in uh, 2015 so i'll just do that again i'll ignore everything else so Try to be open to the new trends and new opportunities. Even if you like disagree strongly with it, maybe try it out just a little bit, see how it is, because you never know, you know. Then for our third trend, it's bear market brutality. A lot of well-funded game studios are pivoting back to Web 2 since 
right now we're in that extended bear market period where uh, a lot of noise will happen maybe 6 to 12 to 18 months down the line so people aren't willing to deal with that and they want to generate revenue right now people are getting drained in their wallets with phishing scams and uh you see those annoying twitter bots tagging people and a bunch of other stuff are ramping up so survival is the key uh, less is more right so try not to click on any random fishy links uh diversify out don't over marry into a bag and get caught like some people did getting emotional over bags and just adapt to the conditions that come and as they change then for news a lot of interesting stuff like the an explanation on BAYC's news game, HBMTL, Mantle Network, uh, Binance, them allowing people to use multiple addresses to receive money, LHU's uh, incoming close alpha 3 coming out, new playtest for Inception, blog games do protocol, McDonald's and Sandbox, that's pretty entertaining. That's one of the collabs I was mentioning that was more unique than we have the animal racing trend that's hilarious we have hamsters so i wonder what new animal they'll come up with next week we got star atlas going to fitness i'm very interested in that before i wasn't really interested in that starless but now i kind of am so i'm very curious to see how they develop we have the unexpected collab of maple story cool cats so so many unexpected collabs then john giving great updates on not getting fished for the latest scam then awesome partnership between hyperplay and imx poke started with a great analysis of the africa region so i think there will be other regions are are underserved or i think uh, not as well in the spotlight like india vietnam and other ones that i think they'll make a lot of noise and i think there are a lot of opportunities there then uh, we have loki bird giving analysis of what happened with momogiro and there are other ones that are dropping out like home games neopets etc so yeah, very important to diversify, not bear your bags. Then uh, coin fund with a big raise, so we'll see what they invest in. Other raises include Futureverse, uh, shouts to Kiefer for an in-depth thread on game economies, Eyeball 2 for another raise, and Trading Vapor and Bobby Young talking about utilizing uh, Telegram bots and Reddit community points, which is a big inspiration for uh, this week's trend, so shouts to them. That meetable with showing that Web3 gaming investments have actually increased from Q1 to Q2 by, I believe, around 300 million. So, very cool. And for this week's learning, we got Alex from Mosey with great insight of playing the long game. And I'll just click on it. So, the long game as opposed to not just short term, right? So, what you want to build will take you. 10 times longer than you think but will be worth 100 times more than you can imagine so really great inspiration from there and it will be tempting to uh create to take the short-term actions which will get you to gain to now but by taking those actions it will bring away time and energy from what you could be working on to the true 10,000 infinite x opportunity in the future by playing the long game we got Alex Becker talking about um delegating and utilizing help to focus on higher impact and higher leverage tasks and then to delegate the rest we have uh, another alpha by alex hermosi of uh, providing high impact immediate value without asking giving it out so this point is very important as i feel that a lot of newer people that come to this space and they're like okay i will only give if i get something returned or i'll try to extract as much value as i can so i think this will really screw them up as i think uh right now especially in the bear market uh, i think the best people are constantly trying to share and give as much value as they can but they're also guarded as in they want to surround themselves with the best people so if you keep on coming with the value extraction mindset you will screw yourself over so keep on giving and keep on learning and you'll be good and for closing remarks uh i think this week's uh news reminds me of just uh, being able to adapt to the market and life circumstances, right? So maybe the beliefs and actions, routines that you've done in the past have served you well and they have brought you to this point, they brought you success. However, now that times are evolving, it's important to evolve the times too and maybe some beliefs that were useful in the past aren't useful now. 
and maybe the beliefs that you will form won't be useful later in the future and maybe some old beliefs may come back or maybe new beliefs may be firm so i think it's important to just adapt and to um, take things as the way they are and to yeah just go with the motion be like water as Bruce Lee said you know what i'm saying so hope you guys enjoyed the video and talk to y'all next time